New at 6, the Queen City taking a stand against sexual harassment after our Defenders team revealed an outdated policy. Tonight, we've learned the City of Charlotte has an all-new harassment policy for city employees and managers. It includes new training and reporting requirement for sexual harassment cases. All of this comes nearly a year after our team exposed issues with the previous policy. Defender Alex Shabad broke this story. He's got the latest details on the significant changes underway. Well, we found the city's previous policy had not been updated since 2010. A lot has changed since then, and now the city is taking action. It's called a harassment-free workplace. This article, sent to all city employees, makes clear future sexual harassment cases will be handled differently. The new policy comes after our Defenders team revealed the city's previous guidelines had not been updated since 2010. When you look at this, what's one word that comes to mind? Outdated. At the time, we showed the outdated policy to Meg Maloney, an attorney who handles sexual harassment cases. She was surprised the city policy allowed some offenders to keep their jobs after several violations. Those are things that we should all know aren't appropriate in the workplace, so why it takes four times for someone to get it doesn't make any sense to me. And now, nearly a year after our investigation, the city sending us this all-new policy. It includes a clearer definition of sexual harassment and new requirements for both managers and employees. employees Employees now required to attend a harassment-free workshop every year. Managers have to notify appropriate officials within two days of reported or observed harassment. Councilman Braxton Winston previously told us he's strongly behind updating the policy. Absolutely, especially being the type of government we have where we have women that play very significant roles. In it. But perhaps it's also what you don't see in the new policy that speaks volumes. Gone are the potential punishments for people who report harassment. Maloney criticized the previous rules for discouraging reporting. That's because a person could be suspended if shown to misrepresent or tarnish someone else's reputation. What they've done is try to intimidate people from making complaints. It comes at a time when high-profile men have fallen across the country and women leaders are on the rise in the Queen City. I also reached out to several council members, but they said this policy is so new they haven't been briefed on it and aren't ready yet to make a comment. We'll continue to follow the situation. In Charlotte, Alex Shabad, NBC Charlotte.